All right, guys, it is time for our hopefully annual Manga Tube Secret Santa special. And this time I feel kind of bad because uh, it was kind of a struggle trying to get this uh, set up this year. And I'm in the end, I, I was one of the ones who was like, all right, we need to go ahead and do this. I messaged Prof Otaku, so me and him got to talking and we decided to just go ahead and organize this Secret Santa special. So me and him split up names between people. We told everybody to try to ship things out as soon as possible. And here I am, uh, December 10th, and I believe I'm one of the last ones to still have not purchased anything for my Secret Santa. The reason is because I was really busy last weekend, which is pretty much when we started this whole thing, because uh, again, like I said, we were taking too long to set this up. I told myself that I would go ahead and do my shopping this weekend. So that's what I'm doing here today. I'm gonna set it up the same way as before. I'm gonna go ahead and do it in three different sections. We're gonna go ahead and do the research portion where I'm gonna go and research my Secret Santa, watch their videos, see what their likes, their dislikes, and then we'll figure out what I'm gonna go ahead and buy them. Then we're gonna go ahead and go into the buying portion. And then the, the last part will be when I finally get in my gifts. I will be opening up my gifts, giving you guys my initial reaction to all of the gifts. Um, so all of that will be in just one video. Hopefully we can do it shorter than last year because last year's I do feel like it was a bit too long at around something like 45 minutes, almost an hour. So yeah, before we get started, make sure to check out everybody else's videos as well. By the time I put my video out, I will link everyone that has released a video so far from our Secret Santa group. I believe this year it was something like 14 people, I could be mistaken. I'm going off the top of my head. Yeah, it was pretty much about the same as last year, which was great. Hopefully next year we can get more people into it. So any manga tubers out there that want to get in on the Secret Santa, uh, make sure to message us. We have a Discord group, we have an Instagram group now. And yes, that is my son. He is with me and um, we're gonna go shopping together after this because uh, this time around, I am going to have to shop in person because I don't want to rely on right stuff or somebody else shipping this out because my secret Santa is in Hawaii. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to have to ship it quickly. So I'm going to do like priority or quick shipping, whatever it's called. And yeah, right stuff doesn't do that. Maybe I can change the settings for shipping, but I don't want to risk it because sometimes right stuff doesn't ship their things out super quickly, even if it is stuff that's in stock. So we're just going to go shop in person. We're going to choose out everything at a physical store and then I'm gonna ship it out as quickly as possible. So let's get to doing our research. All right, so here's the form that we all filled out just like last year. Um, I'm pretty sure it's about the same questions. Maybe we added a few more things here and there, but uh, yeah, so my Secret Santa, as soon as I said they were from Hawaii, if you're watching this video, you know who you are. Baz Reads Manga was my Secret Santa. And so let's see what she filled out. Um, I looked at this once, but I forgot everything. So we're gonna relearn it all again. And then I'm gonna go to her YouTube channel, which is over here. And then we're gonna look at some of her videos. So uh, yeah, manga genres that she likes. She does like Slice of Life, I Iyashikai. I don't even, honestly don't even know what that is. LGBT and Adventure. So what the heck is an Iyashikai? Is a genre specific to Japanese works, primarily manga and anime, it is a subgenre of slice of life portraying characters, portraying characters living out peaceful lives in calming environments, and is intended to have a healing effect on the audience. Okay, the word iyashike could mean healing type or just healing in Japanese. All right, okay. I would think something like this might be like um, Flying Witch maybe. I've heard that's kind of like a slow slice of life series, but the environment is very nice, at least from the covers that I've seen. Um, so, okay, you know what? Let's, let's, let's look at a few of them because I don't know what uh, an example of some of these would be. I'm just assuming maybe Flying Witch would be one. So my anime list, okay, they have it listed in my anime list. So Yotsuba, okay, what's a big one? Um, we, Mushishi, I've heard of that one. Ooh, March Comes In Like a Lion. I've been wanting to watch that anime, so. Um, oh, you know what? Uh, Girls Last Tour, I don't know if that one would have a healing effect, because I've heard it's pretty grim. Um, so, I don't know if that's the right genre here. At least from the description we just got from Wikipedia. Um, so yeah, there's, there's quite a few here that I recognize. Aria the Masterpiece. Uh, Flying Witch, yes, I got it right. Okay, Flying Witch is one of them. 
All right, I think I got an idea of what this genre is. So we can go ahead and continue on with her list. All right, so manga genres she doesn't like horror. I'm with you there. I didn't really like Junji Ito and I haven't really found much horror manga. Well, I guess Happiness might be my horror and I did really enjoy that one. So I can pick and choose. There is some horror that I do like, um, but we're not gonna get her any Junji Ito, that's for sure. And then things slash mangas you don't want. So she doesn't want any figures, unfortunately which I like me some figures, so that would have been a good uh, good thing to gift. But, all right, no figures. Okay, got it. Favorite anime and manga, Full Metal Alchemist. Who doesn't love Full Metal Alchemist, right? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm like Gaunt, where I actually have never seen it before, but one day I will watch it. Uh, and Helsing, which kind of contradicts what she said before. Um, I would maybe consider it horror. I wouldn't know, I haven't really seen or read it, but... All right, Helzine is one of her favorites, nice. Favorite restaurants, her favorite chain is Chili's. Oh, I love me some Chili's. So does Aizen, he loves Chili's. And, or California Pizza Kitchen. Okay, never heard of that one, but I might need to try that out. I do like me some pizza. As for pets, she has two adult male cats. Her favorite music, not applicable. She doesn't like music, all right. And favorite snacks is chocolate and gummies. Uh, things you would prefer to get, manga, gift card, or weeb stickers. All right, so with these uh, manga tube secret Santa things, we don't really, we don't want to give gift cards. That would probably be the easiest thing. And especially for me that I'm a little bit late, I could just send her a, a gift card. Um, but we're going to try not to get a gift card here. So yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Baz. I know you probably would like to shop for yourself, but let's keep it interesting let's let's see if i can figure out what you would want from doing a little bit of research uh so weeb stickers okay St stickers are cool and manga so we got manga and stickers uh so we got to make sure to at least get those two things for her lastly favorite characters not applicable i'm assuming she might have like too many favorite music or too many favorite characters that she just didn't want to list them all out which is why she put not applicable because she must have some favorite characters. If her favorite anime is Full Metal Alchemist, maybe Alphonse, Edward Elric. Um, so maybe we can get some stickers of that. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, merch things you may want. Stickers, again, pins and charms. All right. I'm going to stick with stickers, um, but we'll see if we can find any of this other stuff. Her favorite color is green. And then some extra info is... She lives in Hawaii, so media mail takes about a month to arrive if shipped from US or Alaska. So, yep, I knew that. So I had to make sure to ship it super quickly to her. All right, so that's everything. Honestly, from reading this, all I could gather is um, I, I kind of know what genre she likes. She likes she likes Helsing, Full Metal Alchemist. We're going to get her some stickers. Um, so... Kind of not too easy right now. Hopefully looking at more of her videos will give me more of an idea of what I want to get her. What videos do we want to see? She's a bit newer. Um, she just started five months ago. So again, guys, if you guys haven't checked her out, go check her out. I actually have seen some of her videos. I hadn't seen them before this Secret Santa. And I love, I love the videos. She has good commentary, uh, way better than I do. And uh, she picks up a lot of manga if you like manga. So yeah, great channel. Definitely go check her out. We will be watching a few here in this video. So, what do we want to watch? What do we want to watch? Let's see some more of her shelves. So, we're going to look at one of her more recent videos. Okay, Space Brothers. She likes Space Brothers. Uh, we got a reading log and we got an October manga haul. So, we're going to take a look at these two videos. Um, and we'll see if we can gather what her collection looks like right now and what she likes and doesn't like as far as when she reads manga. So we're gonna start with the manga haul. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this hey, video. It's Ryan Reynolds. All right, Baz reads books. How long is this, 17 minutes? Starting off the October haul video with something I, I... It's 17 minutes, so I'm kinda gonna skip around, um, at least for you guys. I'm gonna watch the whole thing, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to skip around some of the more important sections. All right, so unfortunately, we didn't get any images of her shelf like I thought we might. Um, but I know what she picked up in October. Uh, so that was not a good video to see where her collection is at right now. 
Um, do we want to see the reading log? Because no, let's look for a video that shows off her collection. So first impressions, probably not there. So you see, like her her uh, her thumbnails have her manga collection behind it, which is why I always think she's gonna show it off. But no, it's usually like a top down view of her her manga that she picked up. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Um, Crap. Oh, wait. All right, we're gonna take a look at this one. We, we can see at least some of her shelf. Um, I had the same issue last year where my, my Secret Santa also didn't have like a manga collection video or anything like that. So kind of makes it hard for trying to buy something for someone. So hopefully we see something here. All right, so wait, we can see her shelf. All right, what does she got? North by Northwest, Succubus and Hitman. So she does like uh, some Seven C stuff. I don't know what this is. Uh, I see some Japanese manga. So I guess she does like Japanese manga. Um, so B Star is right here as well. Japanese. Does she know Japanese? She probably does. Can I see Jumper Puppy? Is this Jumper Puppy? Um, he, he, yeah, this I think she does know Japan, <laughs> Japanese. So what loves to eat, so what's she know about? Papa. Um, um, Alright guys, so I didn't have much luck looking through her YouTube videos and I started to look through her Instagram. But I forgot that I wasn't recording, so I'm recording now. We're gonna go through the rest of her post and see if we can see more of her shelf and have a better idea of what she likes um, as far as manga goes. So. Right here, she, she picked up all of Chainsaw Man, so she, she likes Chainsaw Man. Uh, that might be something like maybe stickers that we can pick up for her. Okay, I see some more Japanese manga there in the background. She got some good night poom poom. Nice, Kaiser number eight. So she does like some Shonen as well. Kaiser's getting a little tired. We're gonna have to leave here pretty soon, so I need to get done with my research. I've already been at it for one hour. Hey, stop pulling my ear. He loves pulling my ears, so he's probably not going to stop. <laughs> Owen is a part-timer. Okay, here we can see more of her shelves. Witch and the Beast. She got some Doro Hedoro. Devil is a part-timer. She got the Monster Singles. Nice, very impressive. Ah, one of her cats. She does have some cats. I forgot. Oh, look, here they are, both of them. Cuties, I love cats. And then... Probably everything past here is before she got into her uh, manga tube phase. So yeah, I think we're done. Ooh, nice cosplay by the way. I like what I see here. But yeah, I think we're done. We're gonna go see what we can find. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Um, so wish me luck guys. We're gonna go shopping and we'll just see what I can find in the stores that might interest her. We shall see. But all right, we will see you guys in the stores. Aizen? Vente, vámonos. Aizen? Papi? Bueno, bye, ya me voy. Bye. Bye. Ya me voy, papi. He doesn't even care. He just wants to play. Papi, ¿ya tienes un toy? Sí, es tuyo. Ganámonos. All right, we made it to the manga section and those toys actually did help out because it did distract Aizen while I was looking at the manga. So we're going to get straight into this. Let's see what we can find for Baz. The first thing I found here was Adachi and Shimamura. That was a Yuri series that was recommended to me. So maybe something that I could get for her. 
I also found Bake Monogatari, which I know she has the light novels, but I don't think she has the manga. So that was another series I was contemplating getting for her. Then I ran into this, and who the heck are these characters? Why? I mean, they look like our characters, but something seems a little different about them. For those who don't know, I love Madoka Magica, so if you guys know what this is, definitely let me know. It seems like maybe a different artist, a different take on Madoka, but... I don't know looked interesting i also found the beautiful hardcover for parasite i definitely need to add this to the collection it's such a beautiful hardcover and i'm mad that i haven't pre-ordered it yet so i'm definitely gonna wait for a sale on right stuff and i will be picking this up it is full color and the manga panels look beautiful in color so yeah can't wait to pick this one up for myself and finally read this series so yeah, expect this in one of my future hauls so here i made it to the other side of the bookshelf and i ran into this little gem right here dragon quest the adventures of Dai. it literally has the name of one of her favorite genres in the title so this is a definite pickup for baz i hope she enjoys it in the end these were the three series that i was contemplating i know i was going to get adventures of Dai, but between these two I went ahead and went with Crossplay Love because I've just heard great things from Prof Otaku. But uh, yeah, after that, my son started to get a little bit crazy. So it was time to leave Barnes & Noble. And I made it to the next shop that was just randomly something that I found in the mall. And they had anime candles. So if you want your room to smell like your favorite anime character, this is definitely the place to go. Although I wonder how they determine how our characters smell. Um, I also found some bookmarks, but the quality of the images wasn't that great, and they didn't have too many anime characters, so I didn't pick up any bookmarks either for Baz or for myself, but I eventually did find a huge selection of stickers. It, it was like the perfect spot, like they had everything that I was looking for, and the stickers were nice. I looked through them. There was a big, big variety. There was Pokemon. Here we have some waifus. They actually had a, quite a few waifu stickers. So I picked out a few. Um, here was my Sakurajima. Loved this one, but it did have a little uh, scratch on it. So I didn't get that one. They had some Rias. They had some uh, Shizuru from Rent a Girlfriend. And I was picking all of these stickers out. And in the end, I asked for Prof Otaku's opinion. Like, hey, do you think this is too much getting some waifu stickers for Baz? She did say she wanted stickers. Um, I thought she would have enjoyed these, but Prof recommended for me to look for something else. He thought these were a bit much. I like them. Look at that Yuna. Super cute. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't end up getting any of these stickers. So we kept on looking. And in this same shop, I found some acrylic stands. They had a lot of nice acrylic stands. I was actually surprised how much I like these. These look... These would look really good on a manga show. So I picked out one of those. Boom, boom. You guys will see later. And then I good took job, Aizen to job, go play on these uh, little machines here. So he had some fun here. Um, I would have put, I was about to put in a dollar, but then it closed. The mall closed. So um, he didn't get to play, but he still had fun thinking that he was playing. Uh, after that, we went to go get some dinner. We went to a local chinese buffet that me and aizen's mother used to go to all the time but we hadn't came here in years and honestly it wasn't the best <laughs> it was like i feel like it was definitely not as great as i remembered it um aizen still enjoyed it he had a fun time eating but uh yeah i didn't think it was the best so i didn't enjoy the food very much but uh it was still a good time we ate aizen had fun so yeah, I will leave you guys a few clips here of us eating, and I will see you back when we are packing up the manga. What is the bonbon? This is jello. Bonbon. Bonbon. Jello. Bonbon. Mm. 
Póntala. Yo, ¿Para dónde vas? No, para allá no, es para acá. All right, guys, so here's everything that I got for my Secret Santa. Uh, before I go ahead and package it, just gonna show you what was the final things that I purchased. Uh, you guys did see the manga. All right, so the two manga that I got her were the Dragon Quest, The Adventures of Dai, Volume 1, and Crossplay Love Otaku X Punk, Volume 1 as well. Uh, the reason I got both of these is because these were both genres that she enjoyed, and I didn't see any of these in any of her manga hauls or reading logs. So I'm hoping she doesn't have them, but in case she does, I'm gonna include a gift receipt so that she can go ahead and return these to her local Barnes & Noble if she does have them already. So Baz, I hope you enjoy these. So those were the two manga that I bought. I did also buy another thing. I went ahead and got this little a cool acrylic stand. So I'm not much of an acrylic stand person. Oh, wait, I guess either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, but when I saw this, honestly, I kind of became a believer. I was like, you know what? Acrylic stands are actually pretty damn nice. Um, so you mentioned in your, I think, I don't know if you mentioned acrylic stands specifically, but you mentioned like, you mentioned stickers and two other things. Um, so I was hoping that you might enjoy this acrylic stand. So uh, when you do get it, let me know what you think about it. Um, I thought it was very cool. And I, I, I did see an Instagram post where you collected the whole series and you very much do enjoy Chainsaw Man. You even have a little plushie, a little plushie of Pochita, so I'm sure you will enjoy this. Um, so yeah, that's everything that I got them. Right, now let's go ahead and get to packaging, and the next time I see you guys will be when I get my package in from my secret tent. So it'll be a few days for me, but just a few seconds for you guys. All right, so can I take this off? I don't think I, okay, I can actually. All right, so that should make it a little bit easier for packaging. The manga, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just put it in the bag that I got from Barnes & Noble. And I will leave the gift receipt in there as well. The good thing about always shopping at Right Stuff is that I always have boxes for whenever I have to ship things out. So this box right here is perfect for the few manga volumes that we got. And also for the acrylic stand, I'm just gonna put it back in the bag that they gave me. Yep, fits perfectly. Let me add another layer of just paper here, just so things don't move around too much. And we should be good to go. All right, so I actually did a horrible job wrapping this box up. Um, I didn't cut any of like the excess paper on the sides. I just went ahead and just folded it up like that. I also used the wrapping paper that I had planned to use for my wife gifts. Uh, the reason it's from Frozen is because that's actually like the first film we ever watched on a date. So that's why it's Frozen uh, wrapping paper, Baz. I know you did ask me about it when you received it, but yeah, that's the reason why you got that wrapping paper. You were the first to get wrapped by this wrapping paper. So uh, this will be the same thing I will use for my wife. Now, I also used an Amiami box, which was pretty funny because in our little group chat, uh, Baz was saying how her, her partner basically was questioning, what the heck did you get from Amiami? And apparently she shops from Amiami because she was also confused, like, what did I get from Amiami? But nope, it's just, it's just my box. I have a lot of Amiami boxes. So yeah, I always use those for packaging. And that's pretty much it, guys. So this will be going out to Baz. I did also forget to get a card, so I'm super sorry about that. But I do hope you enjoy this, Baz. All right, guys, it's finally here. It is starting to feel a lot like Christmas. We've got, got, got my first package right here. I love getting gifts, so I'm really excited to open this up and see what my secret Santa got for me because from the front sticker here, I still don't know who my secret Santa is because they literally put secret Santa as the sender. Um, so we'll see if they keep it vague, you know? Like what if they, they don't even tell me in this package? I'm gonna have to wait until they release their video. Um, but I think that might be fun. We're gonna try and guess who my secret Santa is if they don't already tell me who it is. But um, all right, guys, I think we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this. Got a little Amazon box here. All right, let's see what we got in here. Nice packaging you guys can see that so they sent me an envelope one they sent me a card that says elite man i still feel really bad that i didn't send the card with my gift 
Um, I have a feeling everybody's gonna send a, a card except for me, which, uh, I don't know. Wow, okay, wow. There's actually a lot of stuff in here. So we got one thing, and then in here there's uh, a package of three things all kind of packaged together. That's pretty cool. All right, what, what should we, let's try to, I'm, I'm sure this is snacks. Um, I might've gotten the same snacks as last year, thinking some maybe hot Cheeto puffs, hot fries, some white chocolate. Oh, you know what? I think I know what this is. This is one of those like fancy white chocolate things. Um, so I'm gonna take a guess that that's what this is. Uh, these things right here, I honestly don't know what they could be. They're really skinny. They're not manga. Wait, wait, no, maybe they are manga. Uh, they do feel kind of like books. They just look thinner than your usual manga. And yeah, I'm starting to think these are all three three volumes of manga. Wow, that's that's a, that's a decent amount. I only sent two, but uh, one of them was a big boy. And then we got a package here, which. I did say to put in something personalized, so I'm assuming this might be that. And by the sounds of it, I think it's some sort of acrylic stand, just kind of like what I sent to uh, to my secret Santa. But all right, before we open it up, let's go ahead and read this letter. All right, what does this say? Oh, fudge. Okay, so I'm assuming, yeah, this is chocolate. Oh, wow. Oh, I know who I got. Margs reads manga. <laughs> oh man, I'm kind of happy I got her. She's really awesome. And she's about to reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube. If you guys haven't checked her out, definitely go check her out. Super awesome that I got her. Let's see what this card says. And, and I was actually about to buy some of these from your store and you sent them to me. Oh man. I'm still gonna go ahead and buy some stuff from you in the future. So I'm glad that I got this though. I got a bookmark for my manga and I got a bunch of cool stickers that I will be putting around my collection somewhere. Um, so really awesome. And the card says, I'm so happy that we've gotten to know each other more this past year. Uh, let's play some more Mario Kart for Fall Guys soon. We definitely need to do that, definitely. Um, hi Elite, I triple dog dare you to have the best Christmas ever. I hope you and yours have a joy filled Christmas. I hope you enjoy these goodies that I sent you. Margs reads manga. All right, really cool. I will be putting this also, maybe next to the, the last Christmas card that I got from Books Vibes last year, which also check her out. From what I hear, I think she might be doing a comeback. So go subscribe to her. Um, I'm gonna save this for last. Let's go ahead and open the snacks first. Okay, yep, just as I thought. It's one of those Lind, I didn't know what the name was, but I knew it was this. Uh, the Lind Linder White Chocolate, very nice. Put that over there. Next up, let's get into the manga. I'm very curious what manga she got for me. Because it's pretty hard to get manga for me. If you guys have kept up with the channel, I pick up quite a bit of manga. Okay. And we're just going to slide these out. There we go. There's one, two, and three. Uh, you know what? I did say in my cheat sheet that I would like to maybe get some shoujo manga So I'm starting to think she might have sent me some shoujo right here Let's see if she let's see if she if she did her homework watched my videos and actually got me some shoujo that I don't already have in the collection uh, From the looks of this one Hope she didn't send me um, something is wrong with us because I already have that one And I hope she didn't send me Yona of the Dawn because I also already have all of that um on order at right stuff but we'll see if she does that's fine we can uh hopefully i got like a gift receipt or something we'll see we're gonna start with the smaller one and work our way up to the big manga here right, let's just open it up all right so i don't have this one we got the king's beast volume one okay some shoujo here looks pretty good We'll see. Next up. Okay, I thought this was some, I thought this was, um, 
Kamisama Kiss from the looks of the back, it kind of looked like it, but no, it is Lovesick Ellie, volume one. I've honestly heard nothing of these, these, these manga guys. So you know what? I'm gonna do a, a I'm gonna read these and I'm gonna make a follow-up video kind of just going over my thoughts on all of the manga that Margs sent me. So that's Lovesick Ellie Volume 1. And let's see what she sent over here. Looks like she did do her homework because I don't have any of these. Ah, just as I thought. Ah no, Margs, you didn't do your homework. You you got something is wrong with us, volume one. For some reason. Like what I, I when I once I knew it was you, I had a feeling that this big volume was something is wrong with us, and I got it right. So, ah, uh, I still haven't read this, so I will be reading this and doing the whole review for the the three manga that she got me. Um, so yeah, gives me some incentive to get started on it. I do have a big giveaway plan once I reach three K subscribers, which is gonna be very soon. And I might give away one of my volumes once for something is wrong with us. So, so yeah, no worries, Marks, for sending me a volume that I already have. Um, like I said, it's hard to get manga for me, so no worries about that. Uh, now, let's go ahead and get into this package right here. I am very curious what this is. Oh my god, these things are so cute! Ah! We got an acrylic stand for the whole Spy family family anya we got lloyd and we got uh your forger here uh very cute definitely putting these on my shelf um i'm super happy with everything that i got you know what i'm gonna take a quick bite of one of these good stuff yep i'm super happy with everything guys um Another awesome year, another successful Secret Santa. I can't wait to do this again next year and see who my Secret Santas are. Uh, so yeah, guys, I think that will do it for this video. We'll be releasing it before Christmas, but regardless, Merry Christmas to everyone. If anybody's watching this on Christmas, happy holidays. This whole month is just an awesome month. December is my favorite month of the year because of Christmas. Hope everyone gets to have a good time with their family. Um, reading some manga. I know I definitely will be during my week off. I need to catch up on some manga before the end of the year and maybe catch up on some of my, some of my to be read manga over here. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, check out everybody from this Secret Santa. I'll leave links to everyone's videos down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm just gonna take one more of these. And yeah. See you guys.